Hey, it's Ken Mayhar with Email Broadcast. I'm here with the founders of Optic Nerve. Tom is one of the founders. He uh, just went to uh, a trade show and we're just checking in with him. And what are you seeing out there? New trends? What are you working on right now that's maybe been impacted by that trade show? There's a lot of different things going on there. Number one is the uh, is some of the environmental or uh, you know renewable and uh, some of the recyclable materials that we're seeing out there. I did find a really neat technology where it's like uh, instead of 3D, where it, which adds plastic, this is a 3D that takes away plastic. It's almost like sculpting. It's really interesting wow. and uh, state of the art as far as uh, recyclable and renewable materials. So that was one of the most important things that I saw. Cool. Displays here, they've got displays all over the place and a lot of different choices. I'm like crazy amount of number of choices. Hi. What's your name? Shelby. Shelby, what do you do here? I am customer service. I do warranty and info emails and stuff like that. So, awesome. Yeah. So if somebody has a problem, they're going to end up coming across you. You're going to take care of them? Yep. Send them out a new replacement and get them all set to go. Hi there. I'm Travis. Travis, <laughs> what do you do here at Optic Nerve? Lots of customer service, lots of uh, order processing. Yeah. Some uh, supply chain management stuff. That's uh, Oh, is that all? A little bit of everything. <laughs> Just those three things? Yeah. <laughs> Who's this? Rick Brooks. Rick, nice meeting you. Ken. Nice to meet you. Yeah, so uh, what do you do here? I'm the operations manager and uh, just basically uh, in charge of purchasing and just making sure the daily operations happen as they should. So the stuff's coming in and the stuff's going out. Yep. Those are pretty sweet. Yeah. What, uh, what lens is that? This is a smoke lens with a green mirror. Yeah, those are cool. And then we so also have, this is an old version, a sample, the rose gold, which is my personal fave. Those are pretty sweet. Okay, so this is Tom's office. He is the chief designer, and so all day long he is following trends and coming up with uh, new prototypes that then they build. This is kind of the heart of the design operation here at Optic Nerve. Looks like we got a little foreign coin collection here. Looks like Tom does some traveling. Tell me about your design process a little bit, just high level. It's more experiential. It's not like I'm a I'm not an industrial designer. I've been around the industry so long. I, you know, I just some of the things are just based on trends and based on just knowledge of ergonomics and fit and uh, coverage and angles and those things. And I work with industrial designers that can process that information that our company collects into product. So cool to be here in the belly of the beast, looking at all the stuff that's happening. Uh, it's a collaborative effort. I don't take all that credit. Everybody here has a lot of experience and we take ideas and channel that into something. I just get to work with the factories and, and do some of the planning and that stuff. Yeah. How does it feel going up against the, uh, you know, the giant gorillas in your industry? Oh, I mean, it can be intimidating, but it's, a, it's great fun because we can give them fits and do things that, uh, because we're svelte, we're nimble, we're a little bit more flexible and uh, hopefully a little bit more creative, we can do things that are very unique and special. What's your name? Zach. Zach. What do you do here, Zach? Uh, just pull orders. Your name is Jerry? Yeah. Awesome. What do you do here? Uh, I'm a warehouse supervisor. Oh, okay. What are you working on today? Uh, right now I'm sorting glasses for the shelf. We got them in unsorted, so I have to get some product up on the shelf. Unsorted? Yeah. What's going on with that? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What show are you preparing for? I'm not sure. The High School Mountain Bike League race. What's that? The High School Mountain Bike Association. So we've been a longtime sponsor and uh, we'll uh, take our event tents and product and give back to the community, go up to the event up there and uh, there'll be a couple races on Saturday and Sunday and uh, hundreds of kids and their families and it's, it's uh, a big family event so we're proud to be a sponsor. That's super cool. This is going to be a mock-up that we're playing around with so it's a recycled paper board so we want to see if we could use a sustainable products. So that was uh, one of our in lightweight and easy to knock down. So I just want to show you a couple of classes so all these classes are ready for you to purchase. Um, and then they just go pick out the product, put them in a box, and they're on their way to you. Oh, I saw these pair earlier that I wanted to show you. These are cool. So these are a uh, clear sunglass. You're like, well, why would you want a clear sunglass? Well, they're actually kind of a goggle. 
So they've got this foam on the back and they're great for riding on motorcycles. And when the air goes around your, your sunglasses, it dries your eyes out. Man, especially around Colorado, places like that. So these would uh, prevent that from happening. I just found another pair. These are cool. These are yellow. So a slight yellow tint to them, but they also have some padding, but not nearly as thick of foam as the other ones. I think these are the uh, shades that I got for my son. Apparently those UVA and UVB rays can be pretty damaging to kids in their eyes. I think I just found my new pair of shades. So what I love about Optic Nerve is that I get a quality pair of shades for a decent price. So I can buy a bright green pair of glasses to have them for when I'm feeling a little spunky. Uh, but the rest of the time, we're something, you know, more conservative. Love these guys.